Hey, this is Adam from The Cook's Edge. Today in the first installment of our sharpening series, we're going to be discussing stone selection. To give a general overview, all of the stones in front of me are synthetic water stones. We rate them by grit. The lower the number, the coarser of the stone. When I was working as a chef in the industry, I came to the realization that I only needed three stones to get my knives sharp and keep them properly maintained. I needed a coarse stone, I needed a medium stone, and I needed a fine stone. When we talk about coarse stones, we're usually discussing the 200 to 600 range. We will reach for this 200 grit stone when we want to start the sharpening process on any European or Western knives, do knife thinning, grind chips and out of the edge bevel, reprofile a knife, or even grind a new tip onto the knife. This 400 grit stone, we like it for blending scratches in the knife thinning process, and also if a Japanese knife that's come into the shop that's gotten pretty dull but not pits of hell dull, then we'll start it on the 400 grit. This 600 grit stone, we find it really effective for outdoor knives, hunting knives, and we actually use it on like really cheap pairing knives too. We find it really works well. Next, let's talk about the medium stone range. When we're talking about medium stones, we're usually referring to stones in the 800 to 2000 grit range. We reach for the 800, again for Japanese knives that have come in, they're just not quite sharp enough to bring back on the, on the 1000, and they're not dull enough to go down to the course, then we use the 800 grit. 1000 grit, this is our real workhorse stone. Almost every single knife that comes into the shop will see a 1000 grit stone no matter what. And these 2000 grit stones, this is what we usually like to finish our European or Western knives on. We feel it leaves a toothy edge, which helps cut through the tomatoes and bell peppers and that kind of stuff, just a little bit easier. Next up, let's talk about the fine stones. When we refer to fine stones at the shop, we're usually talking about the 3,000 to 10,000 range. It can go up from there, but this is as high as we usually go. The 3,000, this is just your stepping stone into the finer stones. I personally like this 3,000 grit for putting a working edge on some of my carbon steel knives. The 4,000 is another stepping stone into the finer stones, and sometimes we'll finish some higher quality western knives on this. This 5000 grit stone, this is one of the very first expensive stones I ever purchased and it opened my eyes to the potential of my Japanese knives. It really feels like glass when you're sharpening on it and we love it here at the shop. The 6000 and 8000 grit stones, we really finish lots of carbon steel knives on here and we rarely go past these two stones. But if you do have some really hard steel like ZDP 189, some HAP 40, white number one, try finishing it on 10,000 for that super smooth, silky cutting feel. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for our next episode, Raising a Burr. For more information, you can always visit our website www.thecooksedge.com or come down to 63 Pondle Street and talk knives and stones.